Hey guys, Rick here, and wow, Blade Show is finally in the bag. Well, actually for the work anyway, uh, now it's time for the fun starting tomorrow. So anyway, I wanted to get uh, a video done on the release of the new knife that I'm going to be debuting at the show. And um, so I decided, what the heck, have some uh, new Irish whiskey from my buddy Bailey. Thanks Bailey, this stuff is great. Uh, it's the spot. So anyway, without further ado, I want to introduce you to the new full track. Now a lot of you guys obviously have probably caught on what the full track was or what I was going to come out with. We dropped a couple of hints. I did um, uh, some pictures with some tracks across it and things like that. And I think especially some hints I've been dropping in the past few months that I'm working on the larger version of the half track. I think that kind of helped it out too. And um, it, it turned out absolutely awesome. I started on about four and a half weeks ago, told the guys in the shop, hey, let's get something really cool for Blade. And uh, this knife has morphed into something um, a quite a bit different, uh, but yet uh, a lot the same since we first started talking about upsizing the half track. So this is the full track. And uh, the blade length is uh, three and three quarter inches, so it's definitely bigger. Uh, probably this is the half track, so it's probably uh, a third size bigger um, uh, than the half track. So, and you could probably see a few design changes uh, to the underside of the handle, pretty much to precipitate or facilitate uh, the larger size. Uh, one thing that I did do is I kept it the same thickness as the XM18. Uh, which makes for a very carryable, really lightweight for a large knife. So um, the other thing that I did, these here are uh, titanium handles. Uh, I milled them out and put in G10. I also have carbon fiber um, for the show, uh, for the prototypes. And I inlaid them down into the titanium. So what that did, it pocketed out the titanium and took some uh, mass away from it. So, uh, very easy to carry, really, really a nice, uh, a nice weight. So, uh, the, these, um, the first production ones are going to be in Spearpoint and Spanto. Um, this obviously is Spearpoint, and I do have some Spanto ones at the show in the, uh, in the prototype. Um, so anyway, there's a couple really cool features on this knife I want to go over real quickly with you. Um, number one is... I built, I, I expanded on the HMBS idea. And what that is, is I wanted a tool on the knife that you can be able to take the knife completely apart or adjust it in the field without having a separate tool on you. So in other words, the tool is housed on the knife. Also this tool is, I designed it to where you can actually take it off the knife without using any tools, because obviously that was the whole idea. So what I did was, I you can take, this is the tool, it's it's held into the back of the knife, it's trapped on the back uh, standoff, and then on the front standoff, uh, I have a detent in, actually built into the tool, so that it traps itself into the standoff, so it won't come out. So you can take this off the knife, really easy. There's actually two different size bits machined into the front of this tool. So you can be able to take the handle screws apart, as well as, the, the rear handle screws and the pivot, which makes it, again, really cool. And you can be able to take the clip off in the field if you need to. Now, there's a reason why I wanted this, and I want to go over that here in a little bit also. Um, there's a reason why I wanted to have this tool uh, on the knife that you can be able to adjust and take it apart in the field. And the reason why I did that, in fact, I'll just uh, go over with it with you right now. Uh, I came up with an idea on a, uh, a, a pivot system that I call the tri-way pivot system. Now you're wondering, you're wondering, what the hell is that? So, in, uh, in folder making right now, especially uh, flippers, um, there's uh, three trains of thought in the, in, in the uh, uh, bearing system in a pivot. You have nylon, which I use, you have phosphor bronze, uh, like uh, uh, Chris Reeve knives use, and then you have bearings. So those are the three different uh, three different bearing systems or uh, washer system or pivot systems rather. And um, usually you, you have one or the other uh, based on 
uh, what each individual company, each individual maker uh, um, likes or likes to use. So anyway, I was thinking, um, you know, I my mantra for my knives is obviously make it your own. So make it your own means you can be able to come up with whatever you want in a in, in your knife, in your knife that you carry. So some people like the, the phosphor bronze washers, some people like the nylon washers, uh, and of course you have people that like the bearings. So when I when I first started uh, designing uh, tactical folders way back when, uh, I, I came up with the uh, tip up and tip down uh, system for the clip because I had some people that wanted to tip up and some people wanted to tip down. And I thought, geez, I can't make nine, a knife one this way and one the other, that would be, you know, uh, a nightmare trying to keep track of it all. So I did it both. Well, I'm doing the same thing with the pivot. I'm making it, I designed it. The Triway pivot system is exactly what it is. You can decide what you want in the pivot. If you want uh, nylon washers because of a certain uh, area that you, that you don't think that uh, the bearings will hold up, switch it out with nylons in. And same with phosphor bronze. If you like a, a, a really tough uh, uh, washer system for you know real sandy soil or whatever, go with the phosphor. And if you really like the best flippability in a flipper, go with bearings. What's really cool is in the pocket on this handle, you can house the other washers. So you can actually if you make that decision in the field. So you can be able to take the knife apart in the field and change out whichever washer system you want. So it's really cool. Again, it takes, it takes the, uh, the whole mantra of make it your own with the hinder knife even further because now you can decide exactly what you want in the pivot of your knife. So, so anyway, I think it's really cool. I can't wait to get down to the blade show uh, and, and, and open up Friday and meet everybody coming in. Please stop by the booth and, and let us explain exactly why I designed it the way I did. Uh, I think you all agree that it's a pretty damn cool. Um, so anyway, stop by, uh, have a chat with us, and of course make sure uh, you ask one of us to uh, 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 pull out one of these full tracks so you can check out exactly what the next generation knife is going to be. So anyway, I better head down and uh, get packed, and we'll see you guys at the Blade Show, and safe travels, and see you in a couple days.